Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to our No One Gets Out Alive series here in the Long Dark. Um, so let's see. We are nearing the end of our exploration of Bleak Inlet here. Um, last time I kind of verified that you can't cross this bridge, obviously. I uh, didn't get to survey that. We explored this area up here. Um, I went over here and tried to get up to the high ground and it didn't seem possible. Might be able to do it from further up here. Um, and so, I don't really want to go all the way up there and deal with Timberwolves just, you know, on the off chance that there might be a little bit more of the map over there. It kind of feels like the map is mostly complete at this point. Um, I'll rest soon. I'm gonna faint. Got a few big areas. The tower, the... Um, the lookout. Two sets of trailers here, the cannery, the residences, the lighthouse down here, yeah. So it's, uh, oh yeah, and the, um, the cabin up here. Starting to feel pretty complete. Um, I think what I want to do, because we're starting to run low on arrows, and I've noticed I have not seen a workbench, unless there's one in these. No, I don't think there was one in here. Um, so I'm thinking what I want to do, let's see, I don't have any food on me except for the emergency food and some cattails. I think I want to head back over to the cannery today. And we'll try to get into, right, because that's where there's going to be a workbench, is in that final building. I mean, there'd have to be. There, there wasn't one here. There wasn't one here unless I just missed it completely. Yeah. There's been no workbench anywhere in the entire region. So it's got to be here. Workbench in the workshop. Makes sense. Alright, well, uh, let's just kill the knight. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Alright, let's go ahead and sleep. Probably end up eating one of these boxes of crackers. Okay, we got an Aurora. I believe... Yeah, I already searched both of these places. Let's go double check the other trailer and maybe a little bit of my surroundings. Um, also, there's that wolf that I shot. I don't think I ever got back my arrow. So maybe I can find him out here. Very spooky. Is the uh, tower over there? I wonder if there's a. Okay. Looks like the wolves have been alerted. Where are they? Oh, out on the ice there. There's a bunch of them. They don't seem to have transformed yet. Oh, no, they have. You can see the glowing greeniness of them. They found me from a long way away. Okay, so that's not a workbench. There's no workbench in here. I would have seen it. All right. Um, well, let's stay close to the door so I can find my way back out of here. I think we have nothing to do except just uh, sleep the night away. Let's see. I think... Oh, this is going to kill my water supply. It'll probably do less damage to eat this. Oh, and I have some of those uh, like sardines and stuff, right? I think I do. I still got a couple of these, and those actually give me a little bit of thirst back. All right, so we'll, drink, we'll uh, eat those. Save the crackers for later. Let's go ahead and sleep uh, three hours, we'll call it. All right. 
that'll probably hold me. Let's go for another two hours and then we'll check the weather. Okay, we got the sun. I don't think they're going to be able to detect me from here. You know, it's interesting that they're out on the ice. So I'm thinking, so the bridge would be up there. All of that is like off the map, I'm assuming. And I was kind of assuming before that that island is off the map. But look at that tree that's bent over there. That looks like a traversable... Like, it looks like they actually designed that island. And why would the wolves be out on the ice? I wonder if there's a structure out there. Hmm. We know that way will take us back to the cannery. I don't know, it just seems so unlikely that there would be anything out there. Unless there's like a little cabin on the far side of the mountain or, s or on the um, far side of the island or something hidden from view. Numb. Still very early. I'm not tired. Um, Alright, well let's break down this then. Some additional fuel for our eventual fire. And I left the rest of the wood in the other trailer. We'll head over there real quick. Negative 27. I might just try to run back to the cannery. Um, let's go in here. Gather my stuff. I'm going to do a partial trip. So, let's see. Yeah, we're fine on carry weight. Let's take one more look at the map. Okay, this is interesting. So, that island would be out here somewhere. If you look at the terrain here, I think the suggestion is that this would be weak ice, the area further out, or even just water. I don't remember this um, hut being that close to the water, though. Maybe it was. Interestingly, this... Uh, yeah, I don't know, because that would mean that you could walk way over here, which seems very unlikely. This was clearly, like, the hard edge of the map, so there'd be no reason to go over this way. Maybe that's just a stylistic thing. Deeper water. Although this, yeah, this was the area that wasn't traversable too. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, fully warm. Uh, let's see if we can run over there. I'm gonna go about halfway and we'll probably just turn back and come up with a different plan because I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, it's still very cold in this truck. Plus, if we draw the attention of these wolves then that's going to be its own problem. That log would be a good place to get away from the wolves, in theory. Let's just see what's around the corner, and then I'll decide based on that. Hmm, I think we're really close, actually. Yeah, we're right here. Okay, perfect. Just head straight in. Now, there could be timber wolves here, so... It's amazing how close all this stuff is once you know exactly where you're going. Pretty easy to get around. Okay, so we got some food here. 
including three cooked and it looks like four raw. All right, now I did get some helpful information um, in a comment a few episodes back that there is an outdoor fire barrel here. So I'm going to look around a bit for that. Um, pretty minor thing. Um, obviously it's not really even going to come into play because I already did most of the cooking that I need here. Huh. 47 calories. What am I doing on torches and flares? Get rid of that. We've got four marine flares. None of the regular flares. Two torches. Well, let's get warmed up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sleep, I think. Go and take this with me. So I think the plan is to try to get into that workshop tonight. Although, it's really just gonna depend on whether there's an Aurora or not. I wonder if the wolves have respawned around here. I need to do some cooking soon. Okay, so let's double check this building. This is the one you can access the upstairs when you go through the gauntlet. And then I check that coal bin. So everything over there is inaccessible. I've checked that first aid kit. This looks dangerous. Checked the safe. And that body. Huh, looks like you can almost get across there. All right, we have to go back, unfortunately. So, no sign of a fire barrel. Now, there were some barrels lined up. I missed this. Huh, extra flare. And we spent a lot of time around here. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be anything here. Did I say I hate being cold? Alright, another warm-up sleep. And then we'll go across the way. Oh, you know what? I had a, um... I had a wolf bite last episode. Um, I wonder if that took any condition off of me. 60 to 60... I don't know... I don't know where that 1% came from. That might have just been I got cold for a little bit. I actually don't remember that one. It looks like the uh, the latest thing didn't do any damage. Because it wouldn't do just 1%, it would do more. But I did get a notification about torn clothing. So let's see what the deal is with that. Sort by condition... Oh yeah, this ear wrap took a beating. Alright, well let's go ahead and repair that. That's uh, something to spend my time on. While we wait for this wind to calm down a little bit. Let's head out. I seem to be down to only five arrows, which I didn't quite realize. I'm not surprised. We definitely let loose with a ton in the last couple of fights. So this is yet another... This is the main reason that I'm so curious about. Do I ever go in here? There's so much junk back here. A broom. Yeah, I think I did check inside there. 
Alright, I haven't been out here. Some sardines. So that's the low point. This is so unrealistic. You would just drop a plank across there to get over there. Instead of going through this huge gauntlet. Alright, um, yeah, so I haven't been back here. There's the rope. This is the high point that I realized... Oh, that's interesting. Why is there a little plank there? Oh my goodness. There's this whole hidden area here and it's warm. Wait a minute. It's just a warm indoor free place back here? Wow. That's crazy. Look at all these cans too. I've got my cans on me. All this wood that I could harvest for free? Wow, this place is nuts. If there was a workbench here, it'd be perfect. You can break down these as well. Seven wood for two hours. You do it in the warmth. Crazy. This is a really nice spot. Yeah, and there's the fire barrel. Not that it matters. You could just start a fire in. Well, I don't know. The wind might come in through here, actually. Just like the other places. So it's nice that they give this since you know it'll be safe. Well, I guess we, we might as well bring... Um, can I start this for free right now? Not in here. Yeah, so apparently you can't start fires on wood, but you can start them on snow, which is interesting. So that is a free start right now. So much gear here. Yeah, and I was thinking about going back on the ship again, but I don't think you can do anything there. I think it's just part of the part of the gauntlet. Doesn't look like you can do anything with those. So when I was up there, I saw this, and I was thinking, what if you could jump down onto this? Which is interesting, because I was afraid I would get stuck back here, but if I had done that, I actually would have found this much sooner. And just been able to spend the night in there. Pretty cool. Do you see where those, um... Pallets are stacked. That's like right over here. Okay, that door would be inaccessible because of this. So in theory, if you cleared... It's either on the other side of that or on the other side of that. So if you cleared all this wood out... much stuff to harvest here. Um, that fire wouldn't be close enough, but you could probably start a fire here and then be warm on the other side. So there's enough wood here to last for days. All right. Well, I guess we'll use this as our base of operations. Um, and this is pretty cool because you can sit here. Oh, yeah. So they set this up so you can use this to wait for the Aurora. You sit in there. When you get it, you just come right out here and climb up. And you don't have to worry about the wolves. If you're in the trailer, then you run into the issue that I did, where there's Aurora wolves that you have to get past. Neat. All right, well, let's get warmed up in here, and then I'll go uh, grab all my stuff and bring it over. say let's leave this pry bar behind now that I found these but 
Um, there could be lockers in the workshop as well. I wonder if the Timberwolves can come in here. Okay, I think that's everything. Alright, um, I guess we'll go for an hour of sleep then. And I need to drop a bunch of stuff here so I can carry everything over. Let's drop most of the fuel. And we still have access to the sun and the wind has stopped, so I think we go ahead and do the fire now. Yeah, I got enough fuel on me. I just can't resist the free start for some reason. Even though I know the series is about to be over, everything will be wiped. I'll lose my hundreds of extra matches that I have stored around the all the um, all the other regions. Come on, little fire. Let's actually use these. All right. So let's drop all this. Um, most of these. Let's see. What can I temporarily leave here? Uh, let's leave. Huh. Not showing up in my bar. Let's just drink it now. Okay, I'm gonna keep the pry bar on me. Let's leave some of the coal here. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't need all these right now. Keep three. Down to 30. That's good enough. I want to make this fast because I don't want to get too cold running across here. But look how close we are. Everything seems so far apart. I'll leave uh, some cooked meat here. Just uh, one. In case I need food while I'm over here. Torches are here. Um, I'll leave all this water here. Make more across the way. Leave most of the water there. Let's go inside. Just to make sure I didn't leave anything important in here. There might be more fuel or something in here. Extra can can stay there. Um... I don't care about the burned out torches. More fuel to be harvested in here. In the form of that. Alright, let's head back across.
So, I guess I should address this, um, because there will probably be some comments about it. Um, so, originally when I read the comment telling me about this fire barrel, um, I was okay with it, because I thought, you know, it's not too much of a spoiler. Um, it's just, there's a place to cook somewhere in the cannery. And um, I'm kind of glad that I got the comment, because I don't know that I would have ever found this. Because I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is, as soon as there's an Aurora... Um, I'm going to go over to the workshop, we're going to investigate that, and then we're pretty much done. Like, at some point I'm just going to say, you know what, I've seen everything, we're close enough. And, you know, there's no point in you guys watching me painstakingly search out every corner. Like, we're not going back up to the birch forest with the moose up here in the corner to check out all the edges of the map. Um, it's just not interesting enough. So, other than that island, and maybe, I don't even know if it's worth going to this cave and the hunting blind. That cave might not even exist. It might just be something in the upper area. And, you know, the hu this, I, I saw the deer. I know it's right there. You know, it's not really that interesting. So I don't think spending time in an episode going to all of these little places is going to add much. So I think we're just going to have the workshop itself be the big finale. And just accept that, you know, there's some places that we haven't been. Full view of the lighthouse through here. So in that sense... I'm okay with this, um, just because, you know, this does make me a little bit more comfortable here, but it doesn't really add much. I mean, I was going to be able to survive off the water and food that I had already until the Aurora, and then we're going to head over to the workshop. And presumably just end it there. I don't think I'm going to craft the arrows and, um go try to kill all the timber wolves and explore everything and map everything. I think I've seen most of what there is. So let's make a bit more water here and then I'll switch over to meat production. And we can get some sleep while doing the meat. Double check my clothing. Go and get some of this meat on the floor. I don't think I have everything have anything else during. It's a shame because I got a ton of bear meat over there and a ton of moose meat over that way. Um but you know all good things must come to an end. I kinda wanna get this series over with and um I've got a now that's interesting. So the boat itself says last resort on it. Odd. Um, I've got a few ideas for some little short challenges and one-offs to do before the update comes out. Um, so it'll be nice to wrap this one up. And get started on those. I think we, um, I think we're expecting the update sometime around early to mid December. So I've got somewhere around probably two to three weeks. Hard to say exactly, of course. All right, well, let's get organized for this um, trip we're about to do. Seven coal should be enough. Um, this is assuming we even have an Aurora, of course. Taking the pry bar. My tools are in pretty good condition. I got more than enough torches. Actually, leave some of these here. Oh yeah, the bow. That was a big thing, actually. I forgot about that. I've got a good bow back at the... Hmm. I want to say it's at the worker residences, but I might have actually left it all the way back at the other house. I 
I don't need this bow out right now. It's good travel time, but take advantage of this. A weird theory here. Oh. See how my Windshield negative 27. Oh, this is just because I'm wind sheltered? This is like negative 2. Let me go investigate something. Uh, let's go around this way. I'm going to do what I was talking about before, I think. Yeah, because my theory was that I would be able to run down on top of this. And then drop down. Oh my goodness. I almost got stuck. All right, let's not do that again. Oh, that would be a disaster. If I s had a sprain and it saved the game and I got stuck there. Oh, I didn't actually take these off the fire. That was dumb. All right, so here's my extremely silly idea. You load enough fuel on that, that it provides a significant amount of warmth. And then you go up here where you have the technically cold outside temps. So for example, let's go over into this corner. Air temperature is negative 40 here. In fact, we should be able to see the same thing here. Now, we can't see the air temperature anymore. Because so, what's happening is my fire is down there and it's actually heating me up. So you could spend your time up here, sleep in a bedroll for an hour, go down, and so extend your fire time by being technically outside up here, even though the fire is technically inside, down there. Just a silly little optimization. All right, now what's the best way down? I don't actually want to be up here that long. I think I determined... Not really? Am I stuck here? Can I tear this down? Okay. Um, I think I determined that it's safe to drop down here. Yeah, okay. Pretty silly thing to do. I mean, it'd be pretty tedious because you'd have to... Would work better with bear or moose meat. Um, you'd have to throw the meat on here, run around, climb up, go over there, sleep for an hour, and then run back down and get the meat before it burned. Um, I guess you could do it with cooking pots with water to make a lot of water, just to get the, um, the extra cook time on this. Anyway, pretty silly idea, and of course completely unnecessary because there's so much fuel around here to gather. I kind of feel like I should go do something. If this isn't an Aurora tonight, 
And we're going to be killing a lot of time. That's a small piece. Polish that off. And I'm going to run out of food. Maybe we uh, take a trip across the bridge and grab a bunch of bear meat and bring it back? That's something to do. I think that's the... The other thing is the trailers with the moose meat. Probably just leave this fire going. Run over and grab the moose meat. I think that is closer, now that I think about it. I don't know, they're both really close, though. Like, once you know where you're going... Three hours on that. Thirty. All right, let's heat up an emergency reishi. I'm not planning to use this. Use that torch. I haven't decided where I'm going yet. Let's see what it looks like when I get outside. So we have to go up, um... This way. I'm really just doing this to kill some time. I guess the tiebreaker is my good bow might be back at the... Worker residences. I kind of want to go there and back tonight. So I can continue to use this fire. Plus, if an Aurora starts in a couple hours, I really want to be here. It's been so long since I did this. I think this is slightly further, but I think I'm just going to use the T. I got more teas, I've got herbal teas, I've got coffees. Actually should have made a coffee. Now, I already checked the front of most of these cars. So if I'm in trouble with temperature on the way back, I can kind of run and do the shelter in the back of the cars thing. Get in here and drink this tea. <sighs> Thinking we're probably not going to have an Aurora tonight. if these wolves have respawned yet. No sign of them yet. I'm not going to pick up sticks. Just load up on meat and try to get back. Probably grab that bear hide while I'm here. Maybe use that for a repair. Get a little bit of extra temp. Assuming it's cured by now. How long has it been since we were here? We probably spent, I don't know, a couple days at the cannery, and then a couple days at the washed out trailer. It might not actually be done yet. Oh no, because we went and did that whole thing up there after the bear. We, went, we did the pass, we climbed up to the top, 
Did the survey, yeah. I'm pretty sure it'll be cured. That drop gets me every time. Alright, let's go inside. Um, honestly, we can leave this water here. I can make more when we get back. Take that. We'll leave all the fuel here. We got plenty of fuel back at the base. Don't care about leather. Got plenty of those marine flares. We'll leave that there. I think I'll take this with me. What was I going to leave here? Ah, my bow is here. Perfect. 99% bow. You know what? We're not going to use the other one anymore. Just leave it here. Now, it looks like all my arrow ingredients are up at the other house. So, that would have to be a separate trip if I wanted to do that. Let's take maybe... Uh, just a few of those. Okay, I'm fully warm. Still got the warming up buff. I think we just need to head out right now. Anything else I'm missing here? Just the meat. I think I'll load up. take these are the all the small scraps right let's take one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I'm eleven sure I can carry much more. twelve okay that's twelve extra kilograms we're probably about three or four over Good fog situation here. This means the uh, the wind is probably not going to pick up, which means even if the timber wolves did respawn and they come for me now, I should be safe. Unless there's an aurora. And even if the wind did pick up, I have some flares. to conserve my energy just because we're just below half. Every little bit that I run is going to make me slower and slower because of the weight. nearing um, the end of the episode, I think. If we don't get an Aurora tonight, then there's a good chance that next episode I'll just kind of pass time through the day. I don't know, I hate to do that. Maybe we'll go check out that island, potentially? Try to take those wolves out? Because that's pretty close by. Unlike going up to the uh, washed up trailers or like the other side of the map, that's actually something that I could just do. Okay, those are just wheels. Looked kind of like a barrel. I really want to keep this going if at all possible. Just got it off in time.
Temperature's starting to tank. See my fire in the window there? Isn't there an entrance right down here? Starting to feel numb. Yeah, it looks like I don't have to go all the way around. I can go right through here. have to run a little bit. Okay, now I only need to be warm enough to make it back to my fire, so let's pass a little bit of time here. That should be enough. Um, don't need any of that. In the world is this? Portal to another world? I've explored all that stuff, right? The tool, tool bench and everything? Ditch this. Go back to my fire. All right. I have brought... I timed that perfectly. Food to cook on the fire. And now I think we sleep. This closed. Get my energy back up in case I need to... Do something tonight. Okay, two hours. That's good enough for now. Okay, you know what? It's silly. 55 minutes, 3 hours, 20. Let's try it. Just want to see what happens. Can you imagine doing that loop over and over again? Just to save... Well, actually, that took 35 minutes. And that was for a full hour of sleep plus all the walking time. So I got, I definitely got a solid um, 2 to 1 on that. And there's plenty of time left before this would burn. So I could probably even do that with the wolf meat. So you could essentially do all the cooking of all of this with um, nearly half the fuel. Uh, plus, you're not getting cabin fever up there. So it's actually pretty worthwhile if you're uh, doing a lot of cooking here and spending a lot of time indoors. Alright, well, I'm not going to bother for the rest of this. Too much trouble. Get some water.
No sign of an Aurora. Man. Yeah, it's already almost morning. Looks like we're gonna have to wait it out another day. Now, let's finish this off. Uh, go ahead and get some water going here. I need to drink water. That was silly. I was in such a hurry to try to save my water that I might have actually taken a point of damage there. Nope, not yet. Well, um, let's just keep the water going. a broken plate or something. So the one problem is, if I only have uh, four arrows, you have a total of four, it's going to be tough for me to take those Timberwolves on. All right, decisions to make next episode. I I hate to do this type of thing, but I think we might just end up passing time until there's an Aurora. I've got all the food and water that I need here. Auroras are pretty frequent. Yeah, and you know what? I think I'm gonna do it off camera. I hate doing that, but if I'm just passing time and doing nothing else, I might do it off camera. All right, well, I'm going to leave you guys here. Um, next episode, well, I think we're just waiting for an Aurora and then going in. Now I really wish that I had been more proactive when I did have them, but I didn't think we'd be in this position where we have basically nothing left to do um, quite this quickly. I guess I could kind of build up a firewood stockpile and do some other stuff. We'll see. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching.